This is an extremely versatile wet fly that deserves a spot in your fly box. To start this pattern, we'll grab some black vivas and secure it to our hook shank. Snap the excess free and continue wrapping well into the bend of our hook, creating a base for our next step. Returning our thread to the head of the fly once complete. We'll then grab some silver brassy wire, secure it to our hook shank, wrapping back towards the bend of our hook. We'll then bring our thread forward to the hook point, and then we'll wrap our wire in closed touching spirals until we reach our thread. At which point we'll secure, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind, and helicoptering the excess free. Grab a golden pheasant crest, grabbing a single feather and securing this to the back of the fly. We'll use the excess to help build up our body as well as further secure the feather to the hook shank. Once complete, we'll snip the excess free, adding another piece of silver brassy wire. Secure tightly to our hook shank, wrapping back towards the tail. We will now use our thread to build up a body, ensuring that none of the feather underneath is visible, continuing to do so until we reach the head of the fly. Once complete, we'll wrap our silver wire forward in open spirals, ensuring that each wrap is evenly spaced, then continue to do so until you reach your thread. At which point, we'll secure, taking thread wraps both in front, as well as behind and helicoptering the excess wire free. We can then grab a black saddle hackle feather, pull some excess fibers free, and attach it to the head of our fly. Snip the excess free, beginning to hackle our feather around the thorax. You can use a pair of hackle pliers to accomplish this, or if your feather is long enough, you can just use your fingers. Once complete, we'll secure it in place, taking some thread wraps, brush everything backwards, and then further secure it in place, taking thread wraps on top of our hackle. This will also give it a nice brush back look. Snip the excess free, and continue to take a few thread wraps, ensuring everything is brushed back. Next, we'll use our whip finisher to secure everything in place and build up a nice head of our fly. Snip the thread free, adding some UV resin to give it a nice shine. And this is the black panel. This Scotland pattern is most well known for sea trout, however it has caught me many brook trout as well as salmon. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.